When it was time to give birth, one woman, Halmasise, saw her life flashing before her eyes. But as if that wasn't enough, when the doctors delivered the babies, they realized one of them wasn't a baby. When Kader Arbi, a soldier in the Malian army, and Halmasise met, it was an instant click. They complimented each other so well that everyone around them knew this wasn't just a fling, but something beautiful that would stand the test of time. It wasn't long before the lovely couple announced their wedding, and everyone was excited about the wonderful news. In Mali, where the couple lived, weddings were a big and colorful display of culture and events. Family and friends often gathered to share in the bride and groom's joy, and Kyler and Halma's wedding wasn't different. A few months later, Halma was pregnant with the couple's first child. Kader was quite excited, as he had always wanted a family with Halma. The next few months saw the couple shopping and preparing for the newborn. It was a smooth pregnancy, and when the time was right, their beautiful baby girl came into the world. The little girl was named Soda, and she was the replica of her mom. Although she was just a baby, she was quite witty. Oftentimes, she left her parents reeling with laughter in their three-bedroom apartment in Mali. Not long after, 26-year-old Halma started experiencing the same symptoms she had while pregnant with Soda. A pregnancy test confirmed Halma's instincts were right. She was indeed pregnant. The family was delighted. Just a few days after the news of the pregnancy, Halma's 35-year-old husband was also promoted to a high rank after 15 years of serving in the Malian army. Hence, it was a double celebration in the home of the Arby's. The young family also wasted no time in planning the arrival of their baby. But neither Kader nor Halma could have envisioned the shocker that was about to hit their household. On one of Halma's routine trips to the clinic, she requested an ultrasound. However, the result left her speechless. The scan revealed Halma was not only pregnant with a baby, but babies. She was having a set of septuplets. Halma was more than stunned. She'd only read about people having multiple babies, but if anyone had told her she would walk that path, she would have laughed so hard and said, that's never happening. Well, here she was. Immediately after leaving the hospital, Halma informed her husband, and he was also stunned. I am not sure I heard you right. Did you just say septuplet? Kader asked with an open mouth, and Halma repeated what the doctor had said. Here they were, preparing to welcome just one baby, but now they had to prepare for seven. That must have come with a lot of shocks. Anyway, within a few days, that feeling wore off, and the couple was excited. They couldn't believe they were about to be the lucky parents of a set of septuplets. Well, the surprise wasn't over yet. As the pregnancy progressed, Halma's big stomach caught a lot of attention. Soon, the news circulated that she was pregnant with seven babies, and everyone was thrilled. However, because of her exceptional pregnancy, Halma was admitted to a hospital in Bamako, Mali. There, the doctors monitored her to make sure both she and the babies were doing fine and safe. It was also a difficult experience, as Halma had to stay in the hospital. At first, she found it very uncomfortable, but her unborn kids gave her the strength to cope with all the hurdles that came her way. Moreover, Kader was also very supportive. During the 25th week of the pregnancy, the doctors became worried about Halma's well-being, as well as the baby's chances of survival. Soon, they all agreed she would need special care from medical professionals in an up-to-date facility. They then decided that the best place would be at the Anne Boria Clinic in Casablanca, Morocco. By then, Halma had already risen to fame, and the ex-president of Mali, Banda, intervened. This quickened the transfer process, and soon Halma was in Morocco. Halma didn't know how to feel about all of this, as it never crossed her mind she was pregnant with seven babies. Sometimes she even felt very overwhelmed, but Kader always had the right words. We are about to have celebrity babies, so I need you to be strong for us, sweetheart. I trust you, and I know you will make us proud. When Halma arrived at the hospital in Morocco, the staff set up a special room for her. Her case was quite delicate, and even the tiniest mistake could lead to fatal consequences. Hence, the doctors gave her the utmost care and enough attention. But despite all this, something very sad still occurred in the end. While in the hospital, Halma missed her husband so much, but he had to stay back and take care of their daughter, who was over two years old. However, they still had video calls every day. They would just about everything, and how Halma was coping with the whole surprising turn of events. 
Carter always tried to make Halma feel better during these times. Besides, their daughter's endless questions often made these video sessions more fun. No matter how many times Halma answered, Soda would then still ask again for the hundredth time, Mom, are you really having seven babies? Yes, baby, you are going to have a lot of brothers and sisters, Halma would say, amidst hearty laughter. The Coles usually left her feeling warm and loved. When the pregnancy reached the 30th week, the doctors believed if they waited any longer, it could be risky. So they prepared for surgery. Unfortunately, the operation wouldn't go smoothly, as something devastating happened. On the scheduled day of the operation, Halma had one last video call with her husband. And just before the operation, he told her, I want you to go in there and fight. You are a strong woman. I'm here praying for you. Soda also blew her mom a kiss and said, I love you, mummy. While on the operating table, all Halma could think of was the safety of the babies. The doctors had taken the seventh baby out when things suddenly went out of control. Halma began to bleed excessively. The doctors and nurses frantically tried to stop the bleeding. But while doing that, one of them noticed there was one more baby in there. Everything was happening so fast. We had prepared for seven babies. Then we saw another one. We were also trying to save her life. It was overwhelming, but we still stayed collected, one doctor explained. The medical team was attending to the eighth baby when another nurse suddenly screamed, Look, there's one more! Now, instead of seven babies, it turned out Halma was pregnant with nine babies. However, as the doctors brought out the last child, they noticed that the baby had a very strange appearance. The doctors were taken aback. For some seconds, they couldn't even recognize what it was. You see, unlike the other babies, this one sadly wasn't fully developed. The baby also didn't cough or cry. Even though I was very weak because of the blood loss, I saw them struggling to get a fetal heartbeat. I was very scared for him, Halma said of the tragic moment. A few minutes later, the doctor checked the baby's vitals and diagnosed it as a stillborn. However, the rest of the kids, weighing between 500 grams and 1 kilogram, were placed in an incubator. The babies were monitored by a team of doctors and nurses around the clock. Fortunately, their health improved. With time, Halma overcame the shock of the additional births, and she bonded with her kids. Carter also traveled to be with Halma in the hospital, and he offered his full support. The people of Mali were agog with the news of Halma's safe delivery, especially when they learned that she had almost lost her life because of the excessive blood loss. Fortunately, the family received a lot of well wishes and donations. After two months at the hospital, Halma and the kids finally returned home. I am happy this woman got the big family she'd always wanted since she grew up as an only child. Although her hands are always full, Halma said she is blessed to have the kids. In fact, her husband refers to them as beautiful gifts. How would you react if you learned you're expecting more babies than you had prepared for? Thanks for watching.